Hi guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I share with you how to make this amazing high growth oil in two ways. So this oil would definitely help you get your hair thicker, longer, healthier, and also grow your hair faster. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch to the end of the video so you don't miss out on any useful information. Now before we dive into it, thank you so much guys if you're a returning subscriber. Like I always say, I appreciate your love and support it really means a lot and if you're new here definitely consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family so you don't miss out on you know the good content that i put out every twice a week so let's hop into the video guys the first ingredient that we're going to need for this recipe would be some rice now you can use any rice it could be brown rice black rice um, basically any rice you've got available so i'm using just normal basmati rice this is what i cook in my house um so again the quantities like i always say guys use as much as you want depending on how much you're trying to make so you can sort of you know eyeball it roughly um now rice is really good for hair guys women in china japan and southeast asia have used rice as hair treatment for centuries and when you look at those women's hair like look at their hair guys they have amazing beautiful silky hair um so obviously i'm not saying that it's just you know because of rice that they have that that type of hair but we know that rice is definitely really good for hair because it contains some amazing um vitamins like vitamin b vitamin e it also has amino acids minerals and antioxidants that are certainly known to uh, be beneficial for hair growth now rice can actually make your hair stronger it can make your hair grow longer it can increase the shine make your hair look smoother basically just good all around so i started by washing my rice first so be sure you do that guys and then like you saw earlier i popped it in the pan and just basically just to allow it to uh, to sort of dry a little bit the reason why that is is because i wanted to blend it okay so i just went ahead and i popped that in my blender and blended it for as long as i could to get a smoother consistency now if your blender is more powerful than mine yours will be kind of you know um finer which is basically what we want so um but this is what i could just the best i could get pretty much so i went ahead and i poured some rice in a jar and then i'm adding some olive oil again guys add as much or as little as you want just depends on you now i'm going to show you two ways in which you can make this oil um they are i mean these ways are really simple now the first way pretty much is what i just showed you like i just popped that in a jar and i'm gonna just you know make sure that the jar is properly closed and airtight and then um i will basically like like just let it sit in one corner of my house that is warm i mean it's getting warmer now so that's actually really good so i'm just going to allow this to naturally infuse you know over a few weeks you can leave it for as long as you want guys it just depends on you um so yeah that's basically the very easy and simple way you can just make it that way and completely forget about it and then come back later and you know have rice um rice oil that is just really really good and really like powerful for your hair now the second way is basically using a double boiler method so i just pop this you know um in a pan with some water and i put it on fire and just allowed it to sort of boil for a little bit um just so that the um nutrients of the rice can sort of get into the oil um so i also forgot to say guys you don't necessarily need to use only olive oil it could be coconut oil as well um or grapeseed oil like basically any other oil that you've got that you normally use for your hair so after i allowed that to sit there for a few minutes i think it was about 30 minutes that i um let this sit on fire so i'm now going ahead to strain it i'm using a tea towel here but again you can use anything like i always say it could be a stocking cap or anything that you have normally to see if your um diys so i pop that on there and i'm just gonna go ahead and squeeze it gently just to get the oil out um and then that's sort of pretty much it
so this is what the oil looks like after i squeezed it uh, and now i'm going in with my essential oils now you guys know essential oils are really good for hair i mean if you've been watching me from before you know i use this quite a lot in my mask you know um sprays or oils they're just really good and they're usually the same type of essential oils that i use guys because of their amazing benefits i use tea tree essential oil peppermint and rosemary now these essential oils are good at stimulating blood flow to the scalp area which essentially means more nutrients for our follicles and more opportunities for our hair to grow um, so it's really good it helps with preventing downdraft you know dry scalp basically like it has amazing amazing benefits and if you're not already using essential oils in your regimen please please start using them it doesn't have to be this one you know just use something that you're comfortable with but i would suggest that if you are to use any other type of essential oil that you read up a little bit about it just so you know what you can do for your hair okay so these ones are definitely good to um, help promote hair growth and basically just keep a healthy scalp so i stir that all in and then i transfer that to another jar that uh, i'm going to use to store the oil and also to use uh, on my hair so that's basically what it looks like i was just showing you guys here what the other jar looks like so this is the one um that i was going to infuse for a few weeks i'm going to also add my essential oils in there but to be honest you don't have to add your essential oils at this point you can literally just allow it to infuse completely for that length of time and then strain it and then add your essential oils to it as well as you know as you're ready to use it um but even if you are to do it this way it doesn't really it doesn't really cause anything i mean it's still okay um so like i said guys it's the same essential oils that i use in my diys guys did you also know that rice is really good for your skin like rice can actually help your skin look smoother shinier and basically just give you that glow um, that perhaps you've been looking for so this oil can be used both ways you can use it for your skin as well as your hair i was just showing you guys here how both of these looked um, the one that I infused sort of looks slightly cloudier than the other one that I use, you know, the double boiler method with. Um, but again, it might just be because I still have the rice in it. I have not sieved it yet. Um, so, but that's basically what it looks like. Now I'm showing you guys here how I'm applying this to my hair. Now, there are so many ways in which you can use oils to your advantage. Now, oils are really good for hair growth if you know how to use them now if you've been watching me from the beginning you'll probably know already how i use oils like i use oils in two main ways um the first one is usually as a hot oil treatment i'm a strong advocate for hot oil treatments guys they're really good at you know retaining moisture in your hair um you know maintaining your hair healthy basically giving your hair shine and also stimulating hair growth now you can use this oil also as part of a hot oil treatment you can mix it with any other oil of your choice it could be avocado oil or perhaps coconut oil or basically any other oil or even your your other diy oils you can just mix this with and basically just use that as a hot oil treatment um and then the other way that i use oils uh usually is as part of basically like a hair growth oil so i will just put it on my scalp and massage that in so this is basically all i'm doing in this video so i'm just showing you how i'm just putting it on my scalp there now i currently have conros and my conros are really old guys i mean they're not really that old they're about three weeks old but my hair gets extremely frizzy um so yeah it gets extremely frizzy really quickly maybe it's also because you know when i did this convos because i did them myself i maybe didn't do them well um but yeah this is basically what it looks like my hair is looking terrible at the moment guys so 
but hey i will definitely take these convoys out i just haven't had the chance to get around to it um life has been a bit hectic you know for the past few weeks but hey we are you know moving and yeah i'll definitely get these convoys taken down at some point um so yeah basically this is all i'm doing i'm just applying it on the tracks of the convoys and also my edges and then i'm going in there and massaging that in nicely now scalp massages are really good at stimulating high growth and basically just helping your hair in general so always consider doing scalp massages even if you're just doing a whole treatment or just oiling your scalp always remember to massage that in because it does help with blood flow um, which essentially just means your follicles are receiving more nutrients and which equals more opportunities for your hair to grow so really good so at this point i was completely done guys so this is basically it for me today i do hope that you've enjoyed watching today's video and if you did guys please give the video a thumbs up it really really helps you know um the algorithm of youtube push my videos forward so that other people can see it as well i mean if you dislike the video as well that's fine just give it a thumbs up a thumbs down obviously if lots of people give a video a thumbs down I don't take it negatively i just know that maybe most people didn't like the video that's it so if you happen to be within that category that's perfectly fine um so yeah also share it with that friend that family member you believe could benefit from also subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already and until next time i'll catch you in my next video so this is pretty much it for me thank you so much for watching bye guys